You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Ben Munro and Aaron Twitchin. And I said, like, chocolate anuses are not really an appropriate Valentine's gift. But there we go. Hello, welcome to Chewing the Cuts. I am Erin Twitchin. How are you? I'm very good. I don't know why I felt like I had to announce myself. <laughs> How are you, Mike? <laughs> well, I thought you might follow suit and oh, announce I, yourself. I am Michael James Edward Benyon Rowe. Oh, that was very yeah. full now. I didn't full, full in, name yeah. myself. No. Um, what have we got today, Mike? Today, well, I have a story about an accidental wash. And then I'm going to bring you something that's barely scientific in that science that is. I'm looking forward to it. I love a bit of science. And um, we even have a game to play in our game of the week. But on screen now, you can see our social media contact info. Just look for at the CUD TV. And as the names of people who've dropped us a line on the old Tinter web go along the bottom of the screen, it's time for Erin and the showbiz. <laughs> Elliot Page has made groundbreaking historic news. Again. Actor Elliot Page. Well, what did they do before? I'm not familiar with what... Well, well when they transitioned on um, the Umbrella Academy. I did watch that, actually. Yeah. Is that the first time a character's done that IRL? Uh, uh, in real life, yeah. Oh, they handled that pretty well, actually. They handled it very well. Well, this time it's uh, for um, a movie that they're in, mm -hmm. um, and the director is the first trans director, I believe, to be nominated in the short film live action. Oh. God, these, I, these are categories are so long, aren't they? Like, <laughs> yes. like the live action short film is very, very long. Uh, so this is a movie, it's actually only 20 minutes long. So if you're oh. like me, can't handle a long movie, like if anything over 90 minutes makes you think, can't bloody do it, this could be the movie for you. Only 20 minutes. Um, starts off, you're thinking, I've not watched it, I just read the review. <laughs> 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 it's called Avocado. Start off, you think, Avocado Pit, actually, it's called. It's just wrong on the autocue. Um, <laughs> behind the scenes secret revealed. Um, it starts off with um, a sex worker gets into a car, it starts to turn violent and then takes an unexpected turn. Um, yeah. Oh, Elliot's looking tired there, looking like me today. But happy, and that's what's important. Happy but tired. I think that's a, that's a phrase. Yeah. Um, uh, are you someone that watches um, nominated for... I can't even know what... I can't remember what it was nominated for. Well, I, th I think Elliot Page is, is a, a fan favourite. Fair, yeah. Yeah. Or well divisive. Also very busy. He just very had a busy. book out as well. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure there's a final series of Umbrella Academy there is going on. A final, so, Elliot, I should have if you're watching, lesson. take a day off, darling. Have a cup of tea. Have a break. You've been through enough. It's time. You can <laughs> just sit back with a good book. Cup of tea. Uh, uh, next story. Mm -hmm. Are you OK, Mike? Because I don't seem like I'm OK. I don't know if you've noticed today. I'm not OK. Yeah. And don't you feel like sometimes you just need someone to ask you if okay? you're OK? Mm -hmm. I well, would appreciate someone just asking on occasion, are you OK? You OK, hun? You OK, okay hun? <laughs> well, that's what Elmo has been doing. Love Muppet Elmo. Elmo has been... Elmo is a Muppet, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's me straight. There he is. Look. Awesome. He's just been on Twitter, formerly known as X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm always going to call it Twitter. Screw you, Elon Musk. You don't control my mouth. <laughs> but you could for the right Screw price. You, Elon Musk. you don't control <laughs> my mouth. Uh, Elon Musk has been asking people if they're OK. And the response... Elon Musk has been asking people if they're OK. Oh, has he? <laughs> Not Elon Musk. Both have. Elon Musk, has, through the platform that Elon Musk owns... Uh. Elmo is asking people if they're OK. Maybe Elon Musk has put a chip in my head and it's backfiring today because I do not know anything in this section. Um, and the responses got dark. They did. People, yeah. people were treating Elmo like their therapist. <laughs> yeah. Unpaid. You don't need to post that, Ham. Well, I think some, some of it was supposed to be light-hearted fun and it just went a bit accidentally dark. So accidentally like, dark. Yeah, so it's like, you know, people say, you're right, and you go, no, I'm awful. Why are you asking that question? That's a very Polish thing, you know. So, like, in, in Poland, you, do, you know, like, in this country, we, we do, how are you? And really, we just expect Good everyone you. to lie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in Poland, they don't do that. They, if you ask how someone is, and they 
They Don't think you're them. asking because they're caring, then they will tell you all about their problems and their ailments and their woes, which I quite like. Why do we lie so much? I, I love it in the doctor's surgery. I used to, when I was a child, going with my gran, I used to hear, oh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. It's like, what are you doing here then? <laughs> Why are you in the doctor's if you're fine? Drain on NHS. Um, this is why you can't get an appointment now. Yeah. <laughs> All the old ladies that are fine, just go in because they've nothing better to do. Yeah, watch Countdown. Not the same. That yeah, that'll make you ill. Yeah. Um, no, I, I like the fact that, that Elmer was asking people if they're okay. When people were responding back going, I think life's a bit of a waste of space. Or I'm glad you asked because that's the only person that's asked all week. It's like when... Elmo oh. doesn't mean that. Stay in your lane, Elmo, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You're really good at what you do. I think this is a misstep for you. I mean, great, you've gone viral, but stick to your ABC, not your <laughs> UK hands. Elmo's only three and a half years old. Still? Uh-huh. Elmo and Mariah Carey have a lot in common, then. And me. I am still only 21. I'd say Elmo could do with a wee shave. That's... Let's, let's see a new look from you. <laughs> let's see what else you can do. What if we Shaving Elmo. Oh, that's I've it. seen that movie. <laughs> I was going to say, that's, that's a specialist film. Shaving Elmo, yeah. I didn't enjoy it. It was a bit, bit accidentally dark, I'd say. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, I've been on the promotional trail too long. This is getting hard work. I've got one final story okay, for you. Cool. Drag Race. Are you a big Drag Race fan? I like Drag Race. I'm a bit Drag Raced out because we're on, what, season 19 of one and then 42 of another and... They're all running at the same time. and It's true, I know. And people do say that, oh, it's too much of it. It's too much of it. And I think, get over yourself. It's joyous. It's happy. There's not really any misery in drama. Mm -hmm. And people watch two hours, two and a half hours of a soap every week. Yeah. Every week. I, I that's relentless. Know. No, I don't. I don't think anyone does really, do they? Um, but, you know, that's there. Mm -hmm. And it's only an hour drag race. And you don't have to watch all of it. You can skip quite a lot if you yeah. want to. Skip so it is manageable. Snatch game and then take <clears> game. Anyway, that's not the story. Oh, OK. The story is actually focusing on the unsung heroes of Drag Race, the pit crew. Love the pit crew. Um, and Jesse, here he is. There he is. There he is. I'm honestly going to tell you now, I do not know what his face looks like, because when someone's got their nipples out, I can't focus on their face. Uh, and I'm very distracted now. Look at him. He's, he's got a full range. He's an actor. You probably exactly. don't know this. He's an actor. And this is him giving range. Sultry, horny... Thirsty. <laughs> um, he's back for a series. It looks like he's staying on. Okay. Do you reckon you could have been pit crew? I uh, no. What's what? Why not? It's, it's the everything from like my forehead down. Wouldn't it's not pit crew material. See, I don't think it's about the body. For me, I mean, look at him there. <laughs> like, I don't think smile, it's about the body, bless but... him. Look at him staring straight into the light. He let his eyes like that, but he got the shot. Um, <laughs> for me, it's that they don't ever get to talk. I'd be terrible at it because I'd be constantly <laughs> trying to have a personality on the show. And he's been there for three or four series now, and he's, he's back for the, this one. And who is he? What do we know about his likes and dislikes? No. He used to date Todrick Hall. We know that. Did he? Well, yeah, I found that out by reading a 30-second article on it <laughs> for the show, and I've managed to retain that information. But what about him? Yeah. Who does he vote for? Will Young or Gareth Gates? We don't know. We does, don't know anything about Does he him. like bananas and aubergines? Oh, I imagine he loves bananas and aubergines. <laughs> Look at those veins. Madonna would be just... Oh, he has got an outy belly button, though. So, oh. you know, that's body diversity, that. <laughs> this is RuPaul <laughs> giving us the full range of the human body here. An outy belly button. Don't be disgusted, kids. It could happen to anyone. It's like when, when uh, RuPaul put a ginger on as pit crew to show diversity. Diversity, yeah. yeah. yeah they can't tan. That's always very difficult to be on TV if you can't tan. Yeah. Um, I always feel sorry for the pit crew because they are in a room with, like, four or five drag queens by the end of it who have not had human contact for a long time. And they, they tend to get very, I don't want to say sexually aggressive towards them. Uh, just a bit, a bit worried about the pit crew sometimes going in and going, oh, no, not that one again. It's a bit lawsuity, isn't it? it as is well, given the number of people on Drag Race that have had lawsuits active during the time of filming. <laughs> I don't know if we're legally allowed to say that. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. There, there have been people who have been with lawsuits while filming Drag Race. So, yeah, yeah I just want to know how much Drag Race pays for Pit Crew as well, because he's got an online fitness industry as well, and okay. he does a little bit of acting. Apparently, he was in Hustlers. I don't remember him. He must have had his nipples out. That's why I don't recognise <laughs> his face. <laughs> but um, how much do they pay? Do they make more than the Queens? And the UK one, they must do, because they don't make anything. I, 
I don't think they get paid a basic wage, but I don't think they're there for... You're paid by screen minute. Probably. I think we should have um, pit crew all-stars, where we actually get to learn and understand about the pit crew. That's what I think. RuPaul, this is what I'm calling for. And we should have them doing little challenges against each other. Yeah. Like the one where they do that whole like photo shoot in a fish tank one. Yeah. And they or should the have a design the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these, well, here are all the pants. Now you have to design a pant. <laughs> Selection of Y fronts. Yeah. Really good. yeah. Yeah. I think that's got legs. I well, it definitely have, it would have legs, it would have torsos, <laughs> it would have biceps. Only one chin. Only one chin. OK, well, fair enough. That's it for the showbiz section. Well, thank you very much for that. Always nice to know that you can distract someone with a pair of nipples. Well, you are welcome to stick around as next is Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with me, Erin Twitchin, and him, Mike. Now let's go deep into the somewhat poorly lit web as it's Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Have you ever washed something that you shouldn't have? Like in the washing machine. <laughs> I was like, I keep mine very clean, actually. Um, I'm always rowing with my washing machine, actually, because it's a liar. OK. My washing machine tells a lot of lies. It'll be like, I'll be done in eight minutes. And then you come back 40 minutes later and it's like, ooh, still going. <laughs> like, um, and I get very nervous about washing things. I think okay. a lot of my clothes are very delicate. So I, I probably have, yeah, I've shrunk a lot of things. OK. Um, you know when it's doing that whole lying thing, it means you put too much stuff in it? I keep hearing that, but, like, I have washing that needs to be done. The washing machine's job is to clean it. Like, get over yourself. <laughs> OK. Like, just deal. I don't believe washing machines are that intelligent, actually, mate. Like, everyone keeps going on, oh, it can sense how much is in there, it's too much. How? It depends. It's how much water's passing through the waste pipe as it, as it does the spin. I don't believe that. I, I honestly yeah. don't. <laughs> I think that's lies. The washing okay. machine company have told you because they've yet to install a timer that works. Okay. <laughs> just a random look. Yeah, that's my <laughs> that's the conspiracy theory hill I will die on. I don't care about where all the pyramids got here or aliens or or the vaccine being fake. I care about washing machine lies. What about the toast button? So you put toast in Oh, number what do those numbers mean? Why well, didn't it just say crump it and then, like, colour? That would be better, <laughs> wouldn't it? Crump it and colour. I like it. Crump it okay. and colour. That's lovely. <laughs> That's a toast brand. Get me on The Apprentice. <laughs> well, this is a lady called um, Briley Coates, who's from Norfolk. Right. Who um, accidentally washed her nan. Uh, um, so he had uh, nan cremated. They each got a little bit oh of Oh, my God. And accidentally put her through the wash. Oh... Now, good what a way to is, go. Good news is the, the bag was so tightly that the, the, the some ashes still left, so she didn't lose all of it. No. So, yes, but she did lose a significant proportion of her nan in the washing machine. I mean, that's awful. It is. She doesn't look that upset about it. No, she looks very happy and pretty, though. Who did her lips? That's a <laughs> lovely highlighter. Um, I mean, but the only thing is, it's not her nan, is it? She lost... Some random ashes. Because they don't give you your actual ashes, do they? They just give you a bit of dirt from the ground. That's another thing I don't believe in, cremations. It's another conspiracy. <laughs> Unless I'm actually watching it burn there, and then I don't believe any of it. Do you know, this is what I found out this week. You know the coffin, when you go to a cremation? You know they don't burn the coffin? Uh -huh. They take them out and then burn them. Why are we paying for the coffin? Why can't you rent a coffin? You can. Can you? Oh, well, that's that bit done. <laughs> Here. Yeah, um, so My you... mate spent a fortune on her mum to go in this like glittery coffin and it was stunning. I'd want to be burnt in it. I'd want it, I'd want it to go <laughs> with me, yeah. But if I'm, if I'm spending that much money on a coffin, I'd want to get buried. I'd want to burn the coffin. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so Gary just threatened to bury me there. Um... <laughs> But yeah, good news is um, some of her ashes, Nan's ashes were remained and she didn't have the only pot. They were shared amongst people so she could get some more. Oh, right. she's got a good ash dealer, <laughs> has she? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned before about um, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon oh, Nusk. yeah, love Elon <laughs> Musk. Oh, oh, Elon Elon Nusk. Nusk. Yeah. oh um, is there any Elon Musk porn? I do enjoy that, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he gets f***ed over in business and then he gets f***ed over at home. <laughs> 
I love seeing rich people fall. So I think I'd probably really enjoy watching a porno where it's a really rich person getting absolutely screwed by like some peasant worker that you screwed over or something. Yeah. 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 One at a time. <laughs> or one. Actually, it's just a bit dark. <laughs> accidentally dark. Elmo, I'm not fine. Well, um. <laughs> I think I reveal too much. <laughs> Well, that's my internet search being checked by the feds. <laughs> How am I still on Twitter? I want to do a bitch about that guy. Oh, Sorry, yeah. Elon so Musk is done. He's, he's created a, a patch that you can have installed in your brain. Um, and he said it's to help people with um, paralysis. Um, and so they can control computers and environments and that sort of thing. And it's a hefty piece of kit. That's, that's in your brain. Oh, hang on. That's, right, that's the size of that finger. Right. So it's about the size okay. of 50p. Oof. Okay. Okay. In your brain, controlling things. I'm concerned. I mean, I did hear about this, and then the lovely person on the radio said it's not really mind control stuff, but maybe they had a chip, who knows? Uh, I just don't trust Elon Musk. Um, but if, I think if it's helping people... I mean, we do do things all the time, don't we? We put things into our bodies. Like you get chips. You can get a chip... Um, no, well, you and I can't because I we don't it, menstruate, but you can get, like, a chip that um, does you the pill. It, it releases the hormones for that, doesn't it? OK, cool. Like, lots of women when have you that. you said you can have chips, I was like, yeah, I do get chips. Put them in my body, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we do get chips and put them in our body. So we do use chips for things like that, and I imagine that there are also some chips that they use, but I guess it's the level of how easy is this to update, how much mm -hmm. control do they have. And that's my concern. It's Elon Musk having control over something that's in my brain. I feel like it's probably been blown up a little bit more than it actually is. I'm not blown I up just... if it's in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine. Oh, my God, it would be like the boys. You? Yeah, <laughs> like, um, yeah, I just I just don't know how Elon Musk is still knocking about being trusted with stuff. Hasn't he proven that he can't? Yeah. I mean, it's like Tesla cars and stuff and SpaceX. I just, no. Apparently, he's the first self-made self-made billionaire that's also going to get demoted people never get demoted from billionaire to millionaire and he's going to because he's spent all his money messing up twitter good uh, and long may he continue spending all of his money so he has no more power yeah enough but, so that yeah. he has to turn to low-grade porn parodies <laughs> <laughs> starring as himself i have a feeling that you, you would watch that i now am so intrigued to find out what's there <laughs> <laughs> Could we get a can we get a, a search going, please? Yeah. Um I carry on that, so yeah. Cool. Um and if you want to see people in porn that you really shouldn't, feel free to share it with us at the Could TV on our social media. And that brings us to our story of the week. Ooh. Now penis shape. This Familiar. Is, yeah, okay. Um do you have a preferred one? Yeah, I prefer just one. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not always true. Um, <laughs> why am I revealing so much? Can we cut that? I want that cut. Um, that's how I want it cut. <laughs> uh, I'm really not picky. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen a penis and thought, oh my God, it's beautiful. Like, they're just, they're not the sort of thing that strikes you as They're not aesthetically I'm, I'm, Yeah, I'm far more interested in the rest of the package, I think, okay. than the, the penis. Well, because if the nipples are out, I won't see it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, sorry, nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes here, please. Eyes here. So, uh, the reason why I ask is because they've done a, stu a study. A study? A study. I do like them sturdy. I like their, yeah. They've done a study. Of, right. They've, they've polled the people, as you will, um, about penis shape and things. And yeah. They've actually come out with the fact that it depends on what you're looking for from the penis. Is this boyfriend penis? Well, whether it's boyfriend penis or just one-off encounter penis. Right. Right. Because apparently if you want a one-off encounter penis, right, you want it um, a little bit long, so over eight inches, and of a decent girth. Right. But boyfriend penis, you'd prefer a little bit shorter. I mean, I've, had, I've seen the term boyfriend penis being thrown around a lot on the internet. Yeah. Um, and you know what I think? We all need to get over penis size. Like, just forget about it. Because it's just... 
I'm tired of people being proud that they've got big cocks, to be honest, because you've done nothing to earn it. Yeah. Like, like, it's not like you've strapped yourself like to a machine and, like, pulled it. Like, well, that doesn't people, work. Kids don't have, do it. Some people have, though. Oh, I did actually watch this documentary. <laughs> actually, me and my friend Alice watched this documentary about penises. And <laughs> we they, thought Alice is OK Did you penis. watch it? Like, <laughs> oh, she doesn't mind. Uh, she put it on. Um, <laughs> She and it was it was this Love Island style. She was going around watching people have penis jobs and stuff, and they were like the cutting it open and like putting their hand in there while well, they were awake. <gasps> These people were awake. No, and he only gained an extra three centimeters on a two-inch dick. I mean, that's not going to make a difference, is it? But the point is, it doesn't matter how big your dick is because you've done nothing to earn it. I think we should start bragging about other things. Let's have like boyfriend voluntary credits. Like, how much has he volunteered? Is he a magistrate? Do you know what I mean? What can he do? Can he get you out of trouble? What are his connections? I don't care about penis shape what's the ideal for you um i i don't have an ideal it's you'd just be happy to have one wouldn't I, you at this point yeah yeah <laughs> it's like one that isn't made of silicone would be a big ticket i'll, I'll right quite there. happily have other people's reject dick i think like <laughs> I, I, I don't think i'm that bothered well at my age everybody's just reject dick you can't get any fresh dick no yeah because they're also talking about pubic hair too. Yes. And, and again, one-off encounter penis tends to be more trimmed and very neat. Yeah. And boyfriend penis, no, not as much. As long as, oh. as, long as it's well kept, it doesn't have to be very shortly trimmed. No, I think it should be the other way around. All okay. right. Yeah, no, I think you've got to make an effort. Personally, I like an asymmetric bob down there okay. um, with a slidey fringe, uh -huh. a couple of highlights. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, at least that's what I call my greys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you've got, to, you've got to keep trim. Okay. I mean, I know you let yourself go a little bit when you are in a relationship, but I think it's important to keep on top of it. All, all over body hair maintenance. I... I actually, I got in trouble with my friend. Mm -hmm. She had air, I won't name her because she won't be happy. She had hairy toes and she was going on holiday with her boyfriend. And I was like, you absolutely cannot go anywhere with hairy toes. Let me pluck them for you. Pluck your toes, girls. Pluck your toes. Shave boys. Them. Pluck. No, don't shave your toes. This is a mistake. She went home, shaved her toes, got stubble rash on her feet. And then she was in, I'm going to lie and say where she was. She was on holiday somewhere, right? And it was hot. And she had uh, hairy, stubbly toes out with all shaving rash. Pluck them. Pluck them. Pluck them. She blamed me. I said, I didn't tell you to shave your toes. I said, go home and pluck them. I said, I'd do it for you. But she refused. And now she's having electrolysis on her feet and a bum hole. <laughs> I love the bum hole slipped in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's all for the post this week. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Reference something. Bum holes. <laughs> Have them beated. You can use feet down there. Just don't leave it on for too long. Stick around, as coming up, we have a game to play in our game of the week. And the game is, have you waxed your bum hole? Welcome back, gorgeous. You're watching Chewing the Cards, and we're going to play a little game of the Gobby Game Show, Fluid Edition. And this one is for our favourite fluid user... I'm glad I didn't write that joke. <laughs> it's Mike! <laughs> <laughs> Off you pop. It's funny because it's true. Game of the Week. So in this game, I'm going to attempt to guess the song that Mike is portraying. But the challenge is he's going to be doing it whilst gargling, presumably, hopefully, water. It's mostly gin. <laughs> I might swallow a couple of times by accident said that before. Right, first drink. First drink. Oh, hell. First song. Have you started? Ah, yeah. Can you not hear that... me? No, it was very good. That okay. was very good. Okay. Um, I, um... <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Can you do a little bit of it again? I'll, I'll, do, I'll do some chorusy bits. Yeah. Was that a verse? Mm -hmm. Okay. I swallowed that. It's so sad she's gone. I've gone. 
there's nothing here anymore. <laughs> that, I'm so sorry, because obviously you're trying very hard. <laughs> and I really appreciate the effort, but it's a no from me, hun. You're it was Valerie. It boot camp. It that, was... I got nothing from that rendition, if I'm honest. I it got was no Valerie. Emotion, I got no rhythm. I Maybe the people at home are watching this frustrated that I'm getting absolutely nothing. But I'll be honest with you, that just sounded like someone trying to swallow a paracetamol. Could I have a clue? <laughs> um, Someone who's dead. It's Whitney Houston, I'm Every Woman. No. Um, Is it Whitney Houston? No. Beef Hive Hair. Amy Winehouse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Valerie. It wasn't rehab. Valerie. 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 That's what I was doing. Okay. That was all an of context clues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try again. No, I, I think I get the game now. Okay. I think before, what was happening was I was um. <laughs> <just> really <laughs> okay. Let's try another one. Yeah. I nearly choked and died. Uh, try again. <laughs> That was a lot better. That had real <laughs> energy and verve. Like I, really I nearly just, died. That was an upbeat number. Uh-huh. Um, it was so good. Honestly, you really gave that your all. Um, I felt the emotion and the energy. I have absolutely no idea what it is. I couldn't tell you. I, and not, honestly, I could probably do it. Oh, hang on. What was that? That's a different song. Oh. Why don't you guess that one? <laughs> That was catchy. I know, it um, you, you know how like they used to say, are you the postman or the post box? I think I might be the performer, not the guesser. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have, um, absolutely, give me a clue. Let me okay. get it off clues. Off a clue. This is a, um, a social networking service that makes you angry because people are shouting at you. Uh, twi oh, TikTok? Yes. Yeah. Kesha, TikTok! Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful clue. Thank you. <laughs> I can hear it now, yeah. Now you when can you hear say it. it, you can get it. Okay. No, really, very good. That honestly sounded like a song. That did sound like a song. And that, again, I got upbeat, I got jazziness, um, I got excited. I genuinely felt like you were performing that. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a very good question. I would have to go with Backstreet Boys, no. I Want It That Way. No. <laughs> I just had to think of a song. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how anyone gets anything out of it. I can't, I can hear you are singing and I could probably replicate a bit of it. I don't think I could do this if my life depended on it. In <laughs> fact, I'm sat here wishing my life would end. I am you actually know, crazy. <laughs> this, you know how they used to have like spontaneous human combustion? <laughs> I never believed in it until now and I actually think it could happen because I'm so unable to think of anything that you're singing. I might spontaneously combust out of awkwardness. Okay, um, so this person um, married Russell Brand? Katy Perry, I'm a firework. No. <laughs> Raw! No. Um, black, but, uh, but not black horse. She had a horse, didn't she? She had a horse. Early. Oh, I kissed a girl and I like That's it. That's the one, yes. So, why is this telling you to how many gay berry songs can ever make? <laughs> I've really earned my gay badge here. I think you people have. were worried, oh, maybe he's faking it, but I've managed to <laughs> so many gay fairy songs. They're like, oh, he's one of those guys. Okay. <laughs> now you'll be able to get this one. Don't threaten me. 
Nearly died. Did you get it? Before I died? No. <laughs> oh, do you know what it is? I think I'm distracted by the lyrics. Okay. Uh, but, 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 but. And I know that that's the rhythm, but I'm just hearing it as words. Okay. Um, that was very good. Again, there was pause in there. There was effort. So bad at this. <laughs> um, if I try to do it before. There you go. Does that help? No. No. Nearly died then. Um, Elon, <laughs> send message now. <laughs> Um, I... What message did you send him? <laughs> I am so... I'm so being a dumb blonde right now, but I... Okay, don't know what think I mean. dumb blonde. She's no longer doing music. Britney Spears. And? She's dancing with knives. Hit me, baby, <laughs> one more time? No. Think, think airline. Think... Toxic? Yes, yeah, toxic. I don't know that one. That one's just for basic straights. Okay. <laughs> I'm too deep in the discography. I only know the album <laughs> tracks. Oh, okay. How many uh, more? Okay. Um. This would be better. And I don't want to tell you how to run your show. Okay. And how to do it, but this would be better if it was two people competing. Really, it would. Because there was someone else there that would be able to bring up the energy, and I could just chime in with any song and make it act like I knew what I was going. I'm going to get this next one straight off. I am actually going to get this next. Okay, one. ready. <laughs> No, that was really good. That was really good. That was Kings of Leon Sex is on Fire. <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! I just hear it! And it really did sound good. And then I got distracted thinking, this is really good, why are you so terrible at this? And then I started thinking, like, what brain disease might I have that means that I can't ignore the buh-buh-buh-buh-buh-buh-buh-buh to identify the music? And then I started getting so distressed and worried about myself that I couldn't concentrate on you in the game. And now I'm sat here thinking, maybe I've got a brain disorder. It was and that's not what I came on this show for. I only came here to try and sell my bloody book. And now I'm leaving thinking, I'm probably not going to see the book come out because I've got a brain disorder. And now I'm worried that the book might not be very good because I've got a brain disorder and I could have written a load of old gibberish and no one's told me till this point and it's all going to come out in print and I'm going to look bloody stupid. I look bloody stupid on this now. I mean, don't go bloody orange listening to someone try and down water and I don't even know what and everyone at home is probably screaming it's so bloody obvious you thicko can we look let's go to commercial I'm gonna get a brain test um, um, and then when we come back we're gonna do science on my brain probably welcome back to chewing the cud now We've had some messy situations so far, but now it's time for us to get educated as we go into the science lab with Mike. That science, that is. Okay, so today we're going to be making hydrogen, which is an element, um, and it's a gas and it's lighter than there, so we need something to catch it in. This is highly explosive. What? Just, just a forewarning. Are we genuinely doing this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, okay. So you, you need basically two chemicals that you'll find lying around the house, well, not lying around the house, but in your home. And the first one is drain cleaner. 
Nej, <laughs> for that <in> my house. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> don't clean drains. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what's in the big plastic bottle. You've got drain cleaner already in the bottom there. Oh, I've drunk most of mine. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> that was a joke, kids. Don't it, drink drain. Don't drink it. It will kill you. Um, and then the other thing you need is aluminum foil or aluminium foil if you're not American. Sandwich wrap. Sandwich wrap. Right. Um, so what we want to do is we want to take the aluminium and put it into the. Um, Drain cleaner, words. Um, but we want it to be small pieces because we want a large surface area. Right. So well, I, want hands... to I want you to tear up the, the foil into small pieces. Okay. Okay. So, just small pieces. Well, I've gone very small. Mine are like confetti size. Okay. Well, what will that do? Will that make it better? That will make it quicker as Quick. a reaction. So. Telling me, oh, I'm just waiting for you to react. <laughs> if I put this in, will it react by the Pussycat Dolls featuring Nicole Scherzinger jumping out the bottle? It will. It will. No. Exciting. That's okay. Um, what does one do with hydrogen? What's its purpose? What's it for? Hydrogen? Yeah. Um, so you can use it to power cars. Hydrogen powered cars are a thing. Yeah. Um, it's lighter than air, so it used to be used in dirigibles. In what? Dirigibles. So what is a dirigible? airships. Okay. Um, so things like the Hindenburg that you know famously blew up. Could you make a hydrogen? You know, like you get helium balloons. Uh huh. <laughs> Could you make a hydrogen balloon? Because helium is going to run out by 2030, and I love helium balloons. You can make hydrogen balloons. We will be capturing our hydrogen in a balloon. When we're making Very it, handy. Which is good. Um, but again, it is highly explosive, so it wouldn't be great to have as a toy. Well, I think that would be great, actually, because, you know, sometimes you have people around at a party uh -huh. and you think, when will they leave? Right. Uh, I don't know why I, I cursed out the swear there myself. I've swore all episodes. Yeah, and you could just blow up a balloon and then they'd know, wouldn't they? Why are you inviting people you don't want your party to your party? Because I don't know anyone that I like, and when I have a party, I just have to invite people I don't like, just so there's people. Oh, right, okay. I quite like hosting a party. I like doing all foods and things I've seen on Instagram, but I don't have any mates, so... I do enjoy hosting a dinner party. That's always fun. Yeah. You know, a, form, a semi-casual hostage situation, I can't leave. <laughs> Right. Joke of salt <clears throat> I started off very, very small, uh -huh. and then I got very, very lazy. Okay. So I've had very small and then very big now. Okay. So there's a real range. There's a range. Well, that's good. A range is always good. Yeah. Now what I want you to do is we well, have to do this quite quickly. Okay. So we're going to put the foil into the bottle and then the balloon over the neck of the bottle. Oh God, I don't know if that's going to happen. To be honest, what happens if I don't? What happens if you don't what? Get the balloon on inside. Then just put the cap on. I will just have to watch it to make sure that the, the bottle doesn't overinflate. Oh, I'm actually genuinely a bit worried. Why? Okay, no, I can do this. I'm yeah. fully grown. So it's, it's I'm just not very good with anything like air related. I only actually, <laughs> I only <laughs> did my tyres for the first time the other week on my car. Okay. And they were meant to be like 36 and they were on 19. <laughs> Because I'm very, I know this is very anti-feminist and very sexist of me, but I just get a man to do it. Okay, that's and fine. I, I, I hadn't done it since I broke up with my ex. And well, because I used to drive the car to my dad's and get my dad to do it. <laughs> so right, okay, really, so I'm quite nervous about this. It's your ex's fault. Hmm? It's your ex's yeah, fault. this is, when this blows up my face, that's his fault as well. Okay, I blame cool. him for anything. So what we'll do that is I won't expect you to do the balloon. We'll just use mine as a guide. So what have I got to do? So just get the foil into the bottle. Right. Okay, and then put the lid on. Make sure the lid's on tight. Well, what about the balloon? If you want to try and put the balloon over the neck of the bottle, that's fine too. All of the foil? Um, a good handful. Oh. Maybe not some of the bigger bits, because as you said, you got very lazy. I can make them smaller. Yeah. Oh, God. So. So. This is me. I'm just popping the, the foil bits in. Can I squeeze them all up together? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. I know we said increase the surface area, but what I've realised is I've just then screwed all mine up. <laughs> into a, into and now a, okay. they're one big lump. So okay. That... It might just take a little while longer for yours to react then. Yeah, well, that's probably a good thing, to be <laughs> honest. It gives me time to get the balloon on. Okay. I've f***ed this up royally. I have absolutely royally f***ed this up. No, it's fine. Just pop it on. It'll be, it'll be okay. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, what's this? What's this all in? And um, see, I started to get reactions there already. Started to create little bubbles. Put it in. Get it, baby. Get it, baby. Chicken, baby. Get it. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. Get it, get it, get it. Put it in. I just fuck that in. Oh, I might have blocked my passageway. Oh, I f***ed it. Again. Oh, God. Do you know I've got a science degree? Have you? Everyone assumes science. media studies are acting, but... Which Graduate science? of psychology from Coventry University. Oh. Well, it wasn't really a university when I went, but it is now. Right, and then I'm getting this balloon on because it's going so slow. We could be here till next week. This is how you put it on. You practice with a banana, then... A cucumber. Banana's very well, that's, No, it's a bit ambitious. A banana's more boyfriend isn't it? <laughs> but um, it has to be a Okay, boyfriend. actually, do you know what? I've done it. I've got it on. Go. I don't think it's going to react, though. I think it is reacting, because if you look at look below, you should see some bubbles are forming. Can I give it a shake? You can give it a bit of a shake, yeah. Increase the... So what's actually happening in So this? what's happening now is that the... Um, the hydrogen peroxide that's in the drain cleaner is reacting with the aluminium. Yeah. And it's releasing the peroxide side of, of the hydrogen. So the hydrogen's been released from the liquid and causing a gas in here. And is that what happens okay. to my dad on a Sunday after he's eaten his dinner and he's just creating gas? Oh, uh, my balloon's going. She's slowly rising. That's, that's mostly um, carbon dioxide and sulphur. In, what in I would part. say is... This is a bit like I'm um, watching it slowly rise up. Is like, you know, <clears throat> back in the day when you used to have like a guy that you fancied and you invited him round to yours, uh -huh. and he was like, "Let's watch a movie," and you'd be like, "Okay, let's watch Cruel Intentions," because that was a movie that you could watch. That was one of my favourite. Sex films. them up, wasn't it, to get them a bit riled and excited? Cause yep. it had a little bit of gentle homosexuality in it, didn't it? Well, I don't know why, but mine is going faster than yours. That's okay. I, I, I had a lot more give in my bottle. But if you feel the bottom of your bottle, it should be getting hot. Where the liquid is. Well, actually, oh. Well, I was holding it in the wrong place, I was going to say it was. So I psychologically went in and thought it was there. Yeah. So it's an endothermic reaction, so it causes heat as it goes. Okay. Now, this is going to take a few moments to do. So while this does... Do I make a cup of tea? Have we could make a cup of tea, right? Or I could pop over there after I've said that science, that is. That science, that is. Oh. So you mentioned a book. Oh, well, I don't like to mention it, but I wrote a book. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, my new book is out called Homo History, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> it's a collection of essays about, like, the social queer experience. So it takes, like, all those sort of issues that we talk about that we don't really understand that much, like gay blood donation, like trans rights, and it breaks them down and makes them easy and understandable. I mean, as I've demonstrated in this show, I'm a bit of a thicko <laughs> and a bit incapable. So I made it so that it was understandable like that. It's like um, a bimbo guide to, to these issues. So that it's accessible, I think, because it can be so hard to understand all these topics, I think, sometimes. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily talk about them and... Hey, who knows who threw the first brick at Stonewall? Do you know what I mean? It's in the book. I was about to guess that. I won't give it away. Sonia Jackson. <laughs> Jerry Halliwell thinks she threw the first brick at Stonewall. Yeah, <laughs> She'll tell anyone well. who listens that she actually got women the vote. But <laughs> there we yeah, go. sure. So, um, that's always the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on at the Could TV on all the usual places and social media. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm genuinely worried. Yeah. I feel drowsy.